Hi everyone, Terry Gruca here with Tony Plohetsky in our KVU News studios. We're continuing to cover the Austin bomber situation. A lot of people talking about this audio recording that police had discussed yesterday. And Tony, you've learned some new information, including the fact that there's some belief that this may not be the only recording. Well, Terry, one of the things that I've wanted to try to figure out today is exactly what all this suspect uh, conduct did say. And so I've talked to numerous uh, sources, several sources, who have familiarity with the contents of that audio. And one of the things that the suspect does say, Terry, he begins the audio by saying, it's me again. And so now there is a thought among law enforcement about whether or not he could have previously recorded, made other recordings recordings prior to this one. Um, authorities, from what I have been told, did recover uh, fragments of a laptop computer that was with Condit when he died from his own self-detonated explosion. So they are now trying to figure out if there are other audio recordings on that computer, and if so, whether or not those are something that can be acquired. Yeah, because that's the tough part, I guess. It is the tough part. Happens. There's also some disturbing details that, that you've learned today about what he did, in fact, say. One of the things that he does talk about, um, he does call himself a, a psychopath and says in his own words, acknowledges that he is a psychopath. Um, he does say that he feels as though he has been one since childhood. He also talks about, Terry, um, his own anger at himself uh, that he did something so stupid as to go inside that FedEx store in South Austin, which we know is what really helped break this case wide open. It gave those investigators very meaningful evidence. And if you remember, Condit was making this audio around 930 at night as police were closing in on him. And so he described um, having knowledge or at least having a belief that police were, in fact, closing in on him. He did say, Terry, that as part of this, um, if he truly believed that he was close to being apprehended, his plan was to go into a McDonald's and blow himself up. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty disturbing. And I guess in many ways, we're grateful that it ended on the side of the road instead of injuring more people. I thought the most chilling detail you gave was what he said at the end, possibly. According to my sources, um, toward the end or at the very end, I believe it, were, it was his last words, um, he did say, according to uh, law enforcement, I wish I could be sorry, but I am not, Terry. We're going to continue to follow this case and we'll, of course, have more details on what Tony has learned from his sources tonight at 5 and 6. Tony, thanks. You